Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial here on psdvault.com uh, YouTube channel. And this is uh, just a quick tutorial to show you how you can create this uh, laser beam effect in Photoshop uh, in just a few simple, simple steps. And uh, if you wanted to check out the full tutorial, uh, I've got the link down below. So yeah, just click on that one and uh, it, will, it will take you to the full tutorial of this artwork. Uh, in this video tutorial, I will just be covering the creation of the laser beams, uh, which is the um, this area here. All right, let's uh, get started. So um, I created a new dot a new document. Uh, so just uh, so we can start from scratch. Uh, all right. So uh, firstly, uh, we'll create a new layer. Uh, we'll grab a uh, uh, just a brush uh, brush tool. I uh, wanted to set it to use this uh, sort of soft round brush, um, and with a uh, sort of um, a, a s sort of like a blue or dark uh, cyan color. So yeah, so let's just go with that one. So we'll paint a dot in the center and uh, we'll create another layer. And this time we'll use a, a lighter uh, sort of blue color. Click on OK and uh, we'll paint We'll just slightly reduce the size of the brush and uh, we'll paint another dot just, just over the, um, the previous layer. All right, so let's just select those two layers. So you hold down your shift key and left click. And we'll also right click on the layer and we wanted to merge the layers. All right, so let's just press uh, Control plus T, and we wanted to free transform this uh, this uh, newly merged layer. So Control plus T, and uh, we wanted to right click and go to Distort. I wanted to distort that layer. So it's sort of in a compressed kind of way. Yeah. So that looks all right. Just hit enter to apply this transformation. And I wanted to control plus T and again and uh, this time I wanted to just uh, scale the this uh, layer so it's slightly more compressed um, and then we can r r right click and just uh, rotate this layer a bit Uh, so you can see we have a, a laser beam layer created. Now we wanted to duplicate this layer a few times. Control plus J, and we wanted to just resize that layer a bit. So really, you can uh, just. Just uh, use the free transform tool along the way to adjust the size and rotate. And we can reduce the layer opacity. Uh, so just adding more depths into the image. And I wanted to just make a few more duplication. I wanted to just rotate that slightly as well.
All right, so we can merge all these three layers together. And I want us to duplicate that so that will scatter around the canvas. So yeah, as usual, we can just adjust the layer opacity. Move them around the canvas. All right, and we can use the in the color adjustment tool. So Control plus U. Now we can adjust the hue and saturation. So you can alter their color. So just to whatever colors that you like. Yeah, I'll go with red. Um, and we can use the levels adjustment tool. So control plus L. Um, we wanted to just uh, adjust the levels slightly. Yeah, and again, we wanted to use the curves adjustment, so we press Control plus M, so just to adjust the contrast a bit. Yeah, so. We wanted to just slightly sharpen that effect as well. So go to filter, sharpen, and uh, we're probably going to use uh, just the sharpen edges. So the edge will be slightly pixelated and it's just get, getting it's basically adding some particle effect. Yeah, and uh, that's uh, that's pretty much pretty much it. So you can use this sort of technique in uh, in a lot of occasions, especially those uh, uh, sci-fi sci um, uh, photo manipulation, or um, or just uh, um, some abstract uh, background patterns. And um, so. As you can see, I use this similar sort of effect in this image, in this image here, um, and uh, and one thing I, I wanted to mention is that you, you can uh, on on the lasers uh, if you wanted to make some sort of you know those um, um, uh, cloud effect uh, uh, through the laser. Uh, so what you can do is to basically add a uh, uh, layer mask and we, we wanted to just basically use the eraser tool and uh, just use just find some nice uh, cloud or smoke uh, brush so I'm gonna, just gonna use this one here I've got and we can just basically um, sorry I wanted to set the brush uh, opacity to a relatively low level so um, yeah, so once you set that, just um, apply some of those cloud effect over the, the laser beams. So as you can see, it's it's just basically adding some uh, cloud effect, and so it's. It's, it looks like it's the, the beam is traveling through the cloud. And, uh, and you can see this sort of similar effect in on this image as well. So see this bit here, I've applied some of those uh, cloud brush. So it looks like it's, it's, got, it's traveling through the, through the um, bit of cloud and, uh, and uh, just adding some more dramatic effect into the image.
And uh, yeah, so uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, quick tutorial and uh, and uh, hope you learn something new. Uh, till next time, and uh, have a great day. Thank you.